Well, after days of suspense following the June 5th election, San Francisco will soon swear in a new mayor. Board of Supervisors President London Breed will take office once the votes are certified. And she's joining us this morning to talk about your priorities. Thank you for being here. You know, it was a, an agonizing wait for a lot of people as the votes were being counted. I'm wondering what it was like for you. Well, of course, it was agonizing, <laughs> um, but the votes have been counted, and I'm really excited about uh, moving forward and getting the job done for all San Franciscans. This is an amazing opportunity. Uh, the energy out in San Francisco feels so different. People are excited about the future. And so let's talk about once you hit the ground running, your priorities in the first 100 days. Oh, so my priorities are clearly <laughs> some of the things that I talked about throughout the campaign trail. I want to make sure um, that we remove all the tent encampments. Um, I've already been in conversations with a number of people who have uh, places and rooms available. I want to make sure that the budget gets passed and we hire more police officers and get our police officers walking the beats. I want to make sure uh, that Muni's running a lot better. Uh, there are a number of things that we're going to need to do, clearly. Uh, to get the city on the right track, but ultimately um, I'm going to hit the ground running and I am hopefully going to see uh, amazing things happen within those first hundred days. Now, of course, you're going to need cooperation from uh, the Board of Supervisors and during this hard fought campaign, it was really a fractured board. How do you deal with that? So we've been through this before. Um, we went through campaigns and oftentimes, sadly, they are what they are, they're divisive, and they're, they, they lead to some challenges. And, and ultimately, uh, for example, when I was elected, re-elected board president, uh, after my re-election to the supervisor seat, we worked so well together uh, last year with the board. And my goal is the campaign is over, let's move forward, let's work together. And, and I, I truly believe that we have a number of members of the Board of Supervisors who really care about San Francisco and care about getting the job done. And we will work together to, to do that. One of the things you have to do is appoint someone to fill your District 5 seat, which covers uh, Hayes Valley, Western Edition, Nopa, some of those neighborhoods. What are the characteristics that you're looking for? Well, I'm looking for someone who really cares about the city, someone who cares about the community, someone who understands that there are challenges with District 5 that still need to be addressed. Uh, someone who's going to be able to work with people um, despite differences uh, because I have had a number of challenges with constituencies, but I still work with them um, regardless of those challenges for the purposes of taking care of the district. And so looking for just really a good person who cares and who's willing to roll up their sleeves and work hard for the district. Mm -hmm. Your election is historic. You'll be the first uh, black woman to run the city. Of course, the election transcends race. There are fewer than 5% African Americans in the city. But still, talk a little bit about being a uh, trailblazer. Well, it's, it's pretty, it feels incredible because also what I've seen throughout this campaign is that young people, kids in particular, are excited and they're inspired. Um, young girls who say that they want to be supervisor or they want to be mayor, um, something <laughs> I never even thought of when I was their age. And that is what's exciting about um, what happened here, um, electing a woman uh, to be mayor, an African-American woman to be mayor. Um, that's pretty amazing. And I think San Francisco is a great city and people are excited about that. Um, but also, I think it's important to remember um, that I was mostly elected because um, I clearly outlined that I'm prepared to deal with these challenges that we know exist around homelessness, housing, public safety, and things that matter to San Franciscans. So along with the historical significance, there's still a really tough job um, that needs to get done as a result of this election as well. And you got more first place votes than any other candidate in our ranked choice system. I think your story was compelling to a lot of people coming from public housing and, and rising up. You were raised by your grandmother, and I'm wondering what you think she may be thinking. She, she passed away. Yeah. I'm sure she's looking over you. Yeah, I, I'm, she's all, I feel like she's always with me because her voice is a lot of times <laughs> in my head. I find myself uh, saying some of the same things that she used to say to me. Um, I've also, I feel like I've become her in some ways because she was, you know, just really didn't smile much, but she showed that she cared by feeding people, 
by doing things for other people. She was always there for the community and so many folks. She used to pierce ears of folks in the community because, you know, people <laughs> couldn't afford to go get pay for their ears to get pierced. I mean, she did so much. And I find myself just really appreciating all she did, the discipline, the focus, the support for the community. All of that is, you know, a part of who I am as a person as well, and I'm grateful to her. And I know she'd be proud um, because I know I gave her a lot of trouble as a kid. <laughs> and now um, all of it was worth it because she never gave up on me. And so I will never give up on San Francisco and trying to make it a better place for all of us. Well, congratulations to you. I know you've said you'll be a mayor for all San Franciscans. We, we wish you well in your endeavor. And we know the Department of Elections expects to have those votes certified by the end of the month. And the swearing in ceremony is expected July 11th. Yes. Is the date that we're hearing. And again, congratulations and thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. All right.